Hello guys, so welcome to my channel. So hari ni kita cuba review GBP Anxiety. Okay, so first of all kita tengok on a weekly trend. Okay, of course kalau kita tengok uh, weekly trend ni. Okay, so price uh, dia lebih kurang almost dia dah buat uh, breakout dekat sini. Tapi kalau dekat weekly time frame, kita nampak uh, dia tengah approach lah almost dekat resistance zone, the previous resistance zone, which is uh, sitting almost like at 2.05, ataupun just short of, uh, shy of 2.04. So sekarang ni, kita punya resistance zones, uh, looking like around 2.04 to 2.05. Okay, level. So price sekarang ni, kalau tengok kat sini, we are looking at it, almost at 2.04 okay so that's uh, uh, basically uh, kalau tanya dia duduk dekat uh, zone zone uh, persistent lah okay so what's uh, next apa yang kita rasa okay so for that uh, kita kena pergi dekat time frame yang kecil okay so let me move uh, this screen okay okay Ini adalah dekat daily time frame. Sekejap saya set clear my drawing. Okay. Tadi kita tengok dekat uh, weekly. So ini adalah daily. Ini yang tadi uh, saya bagi tahu. Dia ada breakout. Okay. From this resistance. Which was so, uh, around uh, $2. Okay. And then since then dia breakout almost dekat 2.0250. Then almost dekat 250 dia dah naik. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sebelah kiri, okay, ini yang saya masukkan, the resistance setting dekat 2.05. Of course, dia ada beberapa resistance lah dekat sini 2.0, that's why this zone, okay, that uh, I'm actually uh, trying to see, sekejap ya, saya select uh, kita punya uh, zone select. Okay, okay, and a tip pen. Format, okay. Spotlight stand, draw. Okay, so this zone, okay, uh, agak, agak a bit cluttered. Okay, so of course, previously they had a breakout and then they had a breakout ke bawah and then uh, they macam zigzag lah. Okay, so kita tak expect this kind of a volatility dekat sini for this time. Maybe we might see some kind of a retracement. Okay, so that's what uh, I'm actually uh, expecting. So kita pergi dekat time frame kecil. So what uh, probably might happen, okay, with the GPP NZT, kita might see uh, probably a bit of a retracement. Maybe somewhere, katakan this broken resistance, which is around 2.03 to around 2.0. Two. Okay, somewhere this one maybe they work like this, and then probably create the base, and then maybe try to hit this two point zero five or two point zero five fifty. Okay, so this might be the two zone. Okay, yang zone ni lah might become a major resistance to break. So having said that, maybe kita akan ada. Uh, pergerakan ke bawah lah. Okay. So, ini adalah untuk GBP NZD. So, maybe kalau kita tengok pada time frame yang besar, daily, so this might happen lah. Maknanya, maybe a short pullback, naik ke atas, try to break this resistance, uh, fail one, one time, maybe come back second time, maybe lepas, and then come down, make a bigger uh, uh, question so maybe it might create uh, dekat sini lah sebab so, kita sekarang ni tak nampak support the deeper support is around two dollar kat sini okay so it might happen at the later part maybe break out and then and so of course sini tak ada trend line okay so we might see uh, some kind of uh, apa orang kata zone being created kat sini okay that means uh, this kind of a move 
Okay. A bit sideways. Then baru break out clearly. Maknanya dia akan buat maybe head and shoulders. Okay. Then. Bila dia ada satu kat sini. Then this might be a trend line. And then the breakout. Retest. Then continue kat sini. Baru sambung ke atas macam ni. So might be this kind of a move. Untuk GBP entity. Okay. Uh, sebab kita expect GBP still kuat. Okay. So kita expect maybe one or two legs uh, ke atas lah. Sebelum dia uh, melemah. Okay guys. Uh, so itu saja buat masa ni. Okay. Uh, thanks.